Hello, and welcome back to another Salmon Run session. Mostly because... Just want something easy again. I ordered something for my mic, so I'll try and do something more long form after that. Not that most people watching this will probably care. I'm making the excuses for myself to myself. That is the way, the way that it goes. Okay, high tide. This will probably, probably suck. Where? They're all okay. You push the thing over that we probably needed. What the? Oh shit. I mean, shoot. Yeah, yeah. They just take up so much space. Not that they're particularly hard to deal with or strong, it's just that they take up like half of the dang thing. What is happening? There's just... Just too much going on. I'm freaking the flip out. Uh, I guess I go... For... The winning. I got one. No, I didn't. Sure did screw that up. I hope no one was watching, I say, as I record this. Well, I'm dead. And they needed help, so now I look like a ding-dang fool. Thank you. You're dead. We did it. And we're getting... Oh, darn it. I thought it could last longer in rain. Well, aren't I a fool? Just a silly... Billy. A squid Billy, one might say. Okay, well, it's fine. Because you know what? The round's over. Me too. Why do you pick the worst times to come in and play? I'm gonna paint this over. Yeah. Yeah, last bit of BNA came out. Probably only illegally. Because I don't think there is a way. I, I mean, it might be streaming legally in Japan, but I'm not Japanese. So the only real choice I have is to either watch it with a VPN. And, yeah, and also learn Japanese, or watch it illegally while I wait for, you know, Netflix of America to translate it for me. Which, I'm gonna watch it legally. Come on. But yeah, it was only 12 episodes long, and it left me kinda wishing... Oh, I got dualies now, I'm still doing it like it's a squeezer. But yeah, after 12 episodes, I will say it left me feeling like I kind of wish that it was longer than 12 episodes. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, two of these guys at once. This seems totally fair and not bullcrap. I need to beat a retreat. And yeah. It was also kind of structured weird, though, because like as I've said in other videos which there's a fair chance you haven't watched. Like, the first six, they release six at a time. First one through six, and then seven through twelve. Pretty obviously. Damn it, are you freaking serious? He probably was trying to be a hero and save us. Instead of running away like a coward. But yeah, like, the first six episodes of BNA felt mostly like they were, you know, like, building a world... They were introducing us to characters and concepts, and kind of, you know, just, I don't know, getting you interested and invested in a lot of stuff, but not really, you know, like, setting up too, too much of the plot, per se. Like, you know, they obviously do, like, the rudimentary things, like, you know, this is the main character, this is what her deal is, this is what she's trying to accomplish. 
this is like the setting, these are, you know, like a bunch of just important stuff, but not like, you know, not too, too much, like, I'd say hard plot points. Whereas like the second one, it just felt like they hit the ground running and it's like, okay. You know the stuff we started hitting at at like episode six? With a few other hints sprinkled here and there through like the first five episodes, but six was when it was really starting to, you know, like, really, really doing some stuff, making some moves, making some plays. Yeah, we're just gonna like hit the ground running with that. It's gonna, you know, we are going to just introduce, well, not even introduce, we're just gonna, you know, we set up the world. Now we're just going for, you know, like, what we're actually going for. Sad Dragon and Bad Dragon. Oh, they might be on a team, in which case this will go better because at least two of them will be able to coordinate. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hmm. But yeah. I'm not sure if I much care for this stage, I'll be honest. But yeah. Like I said, though, end of the day, I don't like snipers, but at least it's not the worst one in the world. Yeah, I felt like they ended it well enough. And it was like certainly a fun romp, and I enjoyed like most, well, like a lot of the characters, a good chunk of them anyway. There you go, dragon. Dragon. You bad dragon. Oh, they got all the eggs. Oh well. As long as I get paid. Well, we'll take the long way home. But yeah, I don't know. I, like, spent the whole time, you know, like, episode 12 being like, is this where they're gonna end it? And then, like, even at the end, there was, like, a few things, like, you know, it was pretty much, like, one of those things they, it was very, you know, like, it was kind of the end, but they probably could have came up with something else to do, like, you know, a second part to. But it didn't need it. So, yeah, I, like, looked it up on Wikipedia afterwards, and it may, you know, and it had it marked as, you know, like, being 12 episodes, so that's how I, like, knew for sure. But, yeah, it was, it was good. It was for good, and I was very interested, and it's, like, another thing, yeah, just it being the 12 episodes, it's, like, another thing I like about Studio Trigger so much, because BNA's by Studio Trigger, and I freaking love them, they don't, like... A lot of their stuff doesn't overstay its welcome. Like, the perfect example is Kill a Kill. Like, sure, they could have, you know, like, probably come up with a reason to do, you know, like, a second season or something. Some people were even clamoring for it, and, like, rumors were that it was going to happen. But they, like, ended that series so perfect that, you know, like, as much as I wanted more Kill a Kill, I figure, you know, like, I kind of felt like if they tried to do anything further, that would have ruined it. And, you know, like, conversely, one of the places where they didn't do that very well at all was, like, Little Witch Academia. They did, like, two shorts, and each short was, like, fun and, like, very, you know, just, like, great. And very enjoyable. But then they, like, stretched it out to, like, I think it was, like, 26 episodes or something like that and when they did that it was just like yeah this is you know like the brevity that they only you know ever did as much as they needed to in the shorts mutually assured destruction i love it help please oh help please oh would you be so kind uh, i guess i gotta hop it over oh I was kind of hoping that the, you know, inner tube would let me float. Ay ay ay. Yeah, I know I'm a little off, but at the same time, there was still stuff happening over there. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault, maybe it's not. Either way, as long as we win, I guess it's fine. I did not put myself in a good position. Oh, I revived somebody as I died. Perfect. But yeah. Just my hero, I could, well, Little Witch Academia should never have been a full, a full anime. It should have just been a series of shorts, 
that contain, you know, like had self-contained stories and was just like a fun little time. What even? You were leaving, you jerk. Well, maybe, maybe some spray happened. Who knows? But yeah. So yeah. So while B the B and A, I should almost say B stars, is over. And I'm kind of sad to see it go. I'm glad that it happened the way it happened. And... I'll watch it legally on Netflix. And if they ever put it out on a home video, I'll probably get that too, because I really like Studio Trigger. If a bunch of my random videos on here are watched, a prevailing theme is I really like Studio Trigger. I might at some point try and he was chasing me and you didn't kill him in time, but I should have been better with my with my sweet moves. No, not that help. Thank you. Are you Well, you know what, I'm gonna kill you. Oh damn it. Went in. I don't yeah, I, I do not know what's happening. Just too much is happening at once, and when that happens, it's not a good time. Okay. We are not gonna win at this rate. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, we've just been overrun at this point. I think we're pretty screwed. I'm gonna try and save a man. Yeah, there's just way too much. Holy, I might have revived him. Yeah, I was gonna say, when I come back, I might want to use my special, but apparently that is not in the cards. But yeah, I'd love to rewatch all the Studio Trigger stuff and give, like... I don't know if a review would be the right word, it'd just be mostly, you know, discussing what I liked and I didn't like, including spoilers. I wouldn't be necessarily recommending it, maybe I could structure it in such a way where, you know, I give, like, an actual review at the beginning and then do go into, like, the spoilery, you know, details later, but yeah. Pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. I don't know. I really like it. We are not doing great today, I'll say that. Pog Champ. Well, with a name like that. With a name like that. Me too. What the heck? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a very basic weapon that means that I need to pay better attention. But why do they do this? The one time I get, like, the weapon that I'm probably the most comfortable with, they're like, aura as an alternative, the turrets. I mean, I'm fine either way, it's just one of those, it feels, it feels like they're messing with me, you know? Hello! Snatch and grab, snatch and grab, snatch and grab, snatch and grab. Okay, I think he's moving for, well, he's not moving anywhere anymore. <laughs> yeah, Okay. Are all of the things on screen chasing me? I believe they may be. But I think our, sh our turret guy might be doing okay. Did I get that? Oh, I didn't. It bounced off. And I had, like, you know, I was one, maybe two millimeters off. Thank you. Having enough ink for my bomb was what I was going to say. I like walked right into that, like a gosh dang fool. And that I noticed like a half second too late. Thank you. Oh my buddy. Ooh, really, how did you get hit up there? Here, 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 here. Kill him, kill him. Well, I feel fairly comfortable with this. And just paint some more, just in case we come back down. 
Yeah. That has been how I've been spending my time. Oh, this time it's foggy, but not with turrets. I mean, Squeezer's probably one of these. The sniper is going to be the main one that I have issues with. Yes! We did it! Yeah, that was a good play. I thought I was the only one paying attention, and I'm like, well, should I call them over, or is there something more important they're possibly working on? Because sometimes multiple things pop up at once. But no, the guy was there. He was there. He was saving the day. Okay, I thought he was going to get me, but you know what? I got him. Haha. -ha. It'll teach you to be what the heck ever. It'll teach you to be ugly. Holy cow. Can I come back with a basket? Really? I thought I saved that, at least saved that guy before I got splattered. That was a nice play. A very... Ooh, a nice play. For some reason, I'm reminded of the excellent hit. A really weird thing... from RPG Maker. And I should I guess I shouldn't say really weird. It was just a friend of mine was, like, making an RPG on RPG Maker. And, you know, like, it would say... Like, instead of, like, critical hit, like... Pretty much every RPG ever, it would say, ooh, an excellent hit. Are you kidding me? I was right there. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine. We have three, uh, two alive. Oh, darn it. I'd have been a bit quicker. I could have nailed that in, too. But yeah, it would always say an excellent hit instead of a critical hit, and we thought that was very funny. And to be fair, it was relatively funny. It was kind of funny. How high are you going up? This high? Cool. I'm gonna kill this guy. Really? Two full hits? Like, what even is the point of this stinking charger? I died. Well, there we go. Grab and run. Snatch and run. Snatch and run. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. The whole RPG thing reminds me of something really weird. And feel free to tell me if I'm, like, wrong about this in the comments. But, like, this friend who would do RPGs, he also made, like, computers, right? He would, like, assemble it pretty much, like, I think it was, like, 10%, right? So, like, let's say that you had, like, a specific computer that you wanted made, like, specific stats and everything, and making it would cost, like, a thousand dollars in parts. He would, you know, charge you a hundred dollars to put it together, which probably sounds, like, decently reasonable, right? And I won't say it's not. What I will say is... <sighs> he would do stuff like, you know, like, he would do this, but then on top of that, he would, like... Oh, I was revived. He would, like, make RPGs or, like... He would either write scripts and have me edit it, or he would just be like, Hey, can you, like, you know, oh, well... I want to make an RPG, could you write a plot for it? And I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine. And, like, he'd never pay me for, like, you know, my, you know, like, literary, English, like, whatever you want to call it. I would not be paid for, like, you know, my services as a person with words. But then he would always charge for, like, you know, computer stuff, and it was just one of those things that it really... I don't know. It strikes me as, like, pretentious, like, arrogant or whatever, where it's, like... My skills are valuable, you need to pay me for them? Oh, your skills. Anybody can say words. Anybody can make up a silly story. And it was just always something that bothered me. Because it just... I don't know. Like I said, it felt like it was devaluing my skills. Whereas putting his is like... The pinnacle... Of just... 
you know, ability and skill and smartness. So that was something that always bugged me back in the day. I wasn't, mad, you know, I wasn't mad about, you know, like him charging people for computer stuff. I'd always get somebody else to do it anyway because he wasn't that great at it, which makes it even funnier. Well, did you? Holy cow, you came back. Yeah, I wasn't mad about him charging, and I wasn't mad about not being, you know, not being paid. It was more just the combination of it, where either neither of us should have been getting paid, or both of us should have been. He also pulled, like, a really, you know, a really nasty trick on me one time. I can't remember... I can't remember if she was at that point his girlfriend, his fiance, or if they were married, but pretty much at least the woman that would become his wife. One time, well I should start from the beginning, one time he had me like edit something, right? And you know, like, friends who I've done that sort of like work for just for funsies will tell you I'm like pretty, you know, like I'm pretty critical. So he, like, gave me this, you know, one story, you know, like, he gave me, like, this, like, first chapter of a work or something, right? And he's like, oh, yeah, can you, can you look over this for me? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. And I go through it, and I read it, and it's probably only, like, five pages or whatever, but I'm like, yeah, this is a cliche, this seems like it's written off of Star Wars, this could be done better, da 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 da, -da. Like, pretty much, I just rip the, rip the stuff apart. Oh, that's what I wanted. And then, you know, like, and, like, she's just sitting there and kind of, like, listening and take it all in. And then, like, after she, re like, leaves the room and he's like, yeah, that was actually, like, her thing that you were, you know, like, looking over and critiquing. And it's like, dude! Like, one, one, we're, like, we're friends, right? Like, if you hand me work and I don't think it's good, I don't feel bad about telling you because I kind of know, like, you know, like, you're not going to get too upset by anything I say. Because, like, you know, we know each other's limits, you know, like, you know me well enough that you know that I'm just, you know, like, honestly critiquing it, I'm not pulling any punches... I'm honestly offering my suggestions and all that, whereas, like, this is, like, a person that, like, I don't not get along with them, but I didn't grab one. But, you know, like, we're not that, that close, right? At least not, you know, like, me ripping it apart like I'm, like, a freaking publisher saying whether you get, your, like, your book deal or not. And, like, the other thing was, like, you know, like, they were right there listening, like, she was right there listening to it, too. So, you know, like, I was pretty much, like, insulting somebody to their face without being, like, aware of it. And, like, the other thing, I still don't know to this day whether they had, like, any literary aspirations or not. Which, you know, like, my friend, you know, like, he's, he likes computer stuff, he likes programming and everything. Damn it! But he's not, like, really a writing guy, so, you know, if I was like, hey, you know, like... In my mind, I was like, hey, you know, like, this isn't great, I could help you fix it up. But, you know, like, stick with what you're good with, right? Whereas, like, with her, I could've just been like, your hopes and dreams, they're unattainable, you suck. Like, I could've been, like, the freaking guidance counselor who's like, yeah, you want to do, you know, like, this entertainment thing for a living, but you, you, you need a real job. I could have been that asshole, and I didn't know it. That friend is full of dick moves, so, you know, like, I shouldn't be too surprised, but I was fairly unhappy when that happened. Fairly. Moderately. Friend in general, here's the... Is that... Okay, it's just kind of shifting back and forth. Shoot. I feel like I'm not being terribly helpful in this one. Okay, you already got it, so we're good. Does he need revived? Yeah, he does. But I died sticking around for them to flip over. 
I feel so silly. Yeah. The friend, honestly, though, he had, like, one of the most what-the-fuck moments I think I've ever had with, like, any friend. Where, you know, like, one time we were just, like, hanging out at his house. And, you know, like, we're sitting around, like, not really doing anything, right? All of a sudden, like, unprompted, and that's what I think really gets me. He just goes on, like, some little rain. He's like, you know why you'll never, like, you know, find a girlfriend, Wesley? It's because you're this, 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 and this. It's like, it's, and, you know, like, I had done nothing to, like, brand, you know, like, it was completely unrelated to whatever we were doing. It was, like, really mean. I hadn't been, you know, like, a jerk to anybody that day or anything, so it wasn't like, you know, wow, I've been a jerk all day, I really need to be put in my place. It was honestly just, like, one of these... It was, it was shocking. I was not terribly happy. And it was one of those, I'm not a violent person, but if it was not his house, some violence may have been perpetrated. Ay ay ay. I was quite displeased. Anyway, let's... Let's... Ooh, I didn't do that bad. 205. Okay, can we get... I think if we win one more round, I think we'll get... We'll get the big boy bonus, and I kinda like the end on that, so let's go for the big boy. Yeah, yeah. Overall, I guess is what I'm saying is I will totally edit whatever you have, any of your work, but be prepared for criticism. Also, goes for whatever I write. I have this like weird like I know everybody seems to like you know whenever they make something like artists hate their own work and you know like a lot of other you know like writers and video makers like they'll do you know like they'll hate what they make I like the weird habit that whenever I'm writing something a lot of times I'll think it's like freaking great and I'll go back and like look it over later and I'm like oh, this is this is cringe I feel like I should put some stuff out there because like you know if I wait for my own damn approval, I will never get it. I missed. Like, gosh dang fool. Yeah, I'm also trying to think of, like, the best ways to do that. I could just make some videos of me reading poetry, even though I hate poetry. I still wrote it. Darn it, it just... I, I, I am. If we win, it's not gonna be because of me. I also get very self-deprecating whenever I do that. Yeah, do like any videos. I think it's partially because I'm afraid of being... Yeah, I don't know. It's probably just to cut things off. Because it's like, oh, I'm going to comment about how he really screwed that up. And it's like, oh, I can't because he already did it. But you still could if you wanted to. I'm going to collect the easy ones. You stole my easy one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Also, apparently, I don't know is something that I just say. It's like my filler phrase, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know what to say. I guess I'll say I don't know, because I don't know what to say. I guess it's not the most ridiculous thing to say. Because, like I said, it does make sense in, like, context. I'm just saying that I don't know what to say, or I don't know how to, re you know, like, if I haven't previous thought, I don't know what to say, you know, about whatever I was commenting on, or I don't know what to say after such a thing. Can I hold it? No, I can't. Good to know. I think some of them can. I'm an idiot for not seeing this. Honestly, we should be paying better attention, but I wasn't the only one not paying attention, so I don't feel bad. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that, where it's just like, you screw up and you feel stupid, but then you notice somebody else screwed it up in the same way, and you're like, oh! Whew. 
I'm either not the only dumb one or not that dumb. Like, there's been several people commenting about how hard it is to, like, aim the damn shovel in Animal Crossing, and, like, for the longest time, we're just like, I gotta be the biggest idiot. It's a shovel, not a gun. How do I keep on shooting, you know, like, digging the wrong spot? And then videos come up where people are like, hey, if you could improve, like, Arlo did a video where he's like, here's some dumb little improvements that could make Animal Crossing better. Then, yeah, like, the other day, Gus Johnson did, like, a video where he was just making fun of the whole shovel thing. Damn it! It's all up to you, squelch doolies. That was a little too much pressure. But yeah, I probably watched that video, like, five times because it's just like, oh, thank you. Thank you for justifying my existence. Plus, it's only, like, 15 seconds long, so it's not like I need to, like, sit down for an hour for him to tell me about... How I'm not the I'm not the biggest idiot who ever played Animal Crossing. <sighs> One more. Probably. Oh yeah, and I started playing, yeah, on a completely different note. I played like a little bit last night at Tetris 99 again, and I got down to like fourth place again. There was one time I didn't do all that great, and that was when I was being aggressive, and I set my thing to KOs. But yeah, it seems like I do the best when I just go for attackers and just concentrate on keeping my... You know, like a lot of people will build it up so they can just get Tetrises. They'll set themselves up for it, whereas with me, it is like almost exclusively just keep my side as low as possible. So that way, when, yeah, like, when I do start getting, you know, like, hardcore picked on, I can just, you know, I can just adapt to the very basic situations. I am so stall. I don't even know what I was thinking. But thank you, you're very sweet. I'm gonna go, because we are apparently in a big pinchy. Come on, open it. I, I, I am so annoyed with myself. Oh my gosh, would you please die? Would you please die? No, not me, would you please die? But yeah, I don't know. I'm beginning to think, though, that the best strategy for Tetris is, one, either being really good, believe it or not, or two being like really, you know, really like not aggressive in the beginning and then switching over when you're down to like the last few. Hey, I, I hate this. Let's go, Baba Louie. I think that's some sort of children's character, but I don't know what. Hopefully the name Baba Louie isn't somehow offensive to people. Please, two more. Somebody, please. Oh, please. Oh, save us. We are done. Well, that's fine. I'll just get a pay cut. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... Oh, wow. You were really not happy with me there, were ya? Huh. Well, I think I'll end it here. And when I come back, I'll try and get both big boy bonuses. Thanks for watching. Join us next time when I go for not one, but two big boy bonuses. Even though my character is a girl. What, you think girls can't get big boy bonuses too?